Right now at 5, President Biden is wrapping up his visit to the Tar Heel State today. It is both an official visit and a chance to try to boost his reelection chances as his campaign makes North Carolina a top priority in 2024. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland was with the president today. He is live in Raleigh for us this afternoon. Michael, the president talked a lot about trying to bring costs down. Right, and he acknowledged they're still too high. He also talked about money that's going to be coming to North Carolina to expand access to high-speed Internet and made several references to his likely face-off this year against former President Donald Trump. Hey, everybody, how are you? Hello, Raleigh. President Joe Biden returned to North Carolina Thursday trying to highlight how his agenda has impacted the state. Universal high-speed Internet in all of North Carolina by the end of this decade. He announced an additional $82 million in federal funding to connect about 16,000 more families and businesses to high-speed internet, pointing to challenges families faced during the pandemic. Edward Smith struggled to get his VA benefits until he got a high-speed connection. Have made things better for my family and my community. The president also stopped at cookout and met with a family that had a significant amount of their student loan debt forgiven as he tries to make the case for his re-election in this critical swing state. He's preparing for a likely rematch against former President Donald Trump, who won in North Carolina twice before. Biden talked about economic progress while saying costs are still too high. He pushed back on Trump's criticism. My predecessors like to say, America is a failing nation. In my faith, bless me, Father, for his sin. I mean, come on. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper also weighed in. I want a president who wakes up every morning thinking about the American people instead of a president who wakes up every morning thinking about himself. Yeah. While polling shows most of the state's voters disapproving of Biden, most disapprove of Trump, too. As Trump faces dozens of criminal charges, Republicans point to the impacts of higher prices as to why they think he'll win here again. We want to have more of the same that we had under President Trump as far as the ability to pay our bills. Well, Governor Cooper appeared with Biden today. Attorney General Josh Stein, who's the leading Democratic candidate for governor this year, did not. His campaign said he already had events scheduled today. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyde, Queen City News.